Hey everybody, this is Mr. Mott. What we're going to do is go over our percent yield lab uh, in which we take some copper sulfate pentahydrate so, uh, and decompose it into just copper sulfate. So in other words, remove the water. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to get the mass of our test tube. I've got uh, a beaker on here so my test tube doesn't roll off and I'm going to tear my balance to make it say zero and get the mass of my test tube and record that. About 13.39 is my mass. Then according to my instructions, I want to add about a half a gram of my copper sulfate. So I'll try to add a few crystals in here. And so we get about a half a gram. And so um, our paperwork says something a little bit different. We could tear it. So I know a half a gram would be adding, should be around 13.88, something like that. Half a gram isn't too much. Let's see if that did it. A little bit more. And I add maybe a little, little bit more in here till we get it. Okay, so I'm at 13.95, uh, and that is my mass of my test tube plus my copper sulfate pentahydrate. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat it up on our Bunsen burner. And one thing that's nice about this reaction is that we have a really nice color change that happens. We're gonna look for our blue crystals to turn, to turn completely white. And we'll also notice the water and the steam leaving the, um, leaving the test tube as well. All right, so I got my Bunsen burner lit and I've got my test tube with my uh, blue vitriol in it. And what we're gonna do is heat this up in the Bunsen burner. Again, we're gonna point the mouth of the test tube away from anyone because some hot steam is gonna be coming out. We're gonna hope to kind of show that in our picture. Things we notice right now, we're hearing kind of a sound, and you'll notice in the test tube that we have some steam that's condensing onto the cold glass there. And of course we see the color change of the solid as well. see some of the steam coming out of there. Trying to boil some of that water away. I don't think we're done heating all of our test, all of our copper sulfate away yet, but heating up some of that steam out of there would be good as well. to try to do is heat up our solid until all of that blue blue is turned to white and, uh, and all that blue has gone away and then we'll have a pretty good idea that all of our water is gone also we'll notice that when no more steam is being produced then all of our water should be gone uh, I don't know if we can how easily we can see it in the, in the picture I'm noticing still a little bit of steam coming out so I'm going to continue to heat this up until we don't see any more of that steam. Okay, so I think that's about it. So what I'm gonna do now is, uh, is let my test tube cool down and I'm gonna get the final mass of my test tube plus my product. What we have left over is just our copper sulfate without the water molecules attached to it.